Oh, boy. Heal the world and make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying if you care enough for the living. Make a better world. Make a better world. Heal the world. Heal the world. Make it a better place. For you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying if you care enough for the living. Make a better world and make a better world. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Today is not um, the best day. First of all, let me sh give a shout out to the greatest entertainer that ever lived, bar none, other than Sammy, maybe. <laughs> My beloved, Michael Jackson. Oh, man. Michael Jackson was born this day back in 1958 in Gary, Indiana. Uh, to Catherine and Joe Jackson and came out of a manger <laughs> of a city. A city that all oh, everybody done forgot about unless they were probably particularly African American. Um, nobody knows about Gary. Gary is like the manger of the world. <laughs> of the Americas. Like that. And um Michael Jackson, in pure heroic, heroic fashion, put Gary, Indiana on the map. So if he never did nothing for Gary, nothing else, y'all can say that um, y'all produced one of the greatest entertainers that ever lived, and it was out of that hardship that he was produced. And whatever he did couldn't have been enough for the conditions that he was born into. Because he wasn't responsible for it. But you have something to be proud of as an Indiana son, more in particular Gary. Um, and I want to give my condolences to all of his family members today. Um, just, yeah. I always often tell people the first time I saw Michael was at Roosevelt High School. It was before the world got to know who Michael was. Uh, my father's from Gary, and um, all my family's in Gary on his side. So they are extremely proud of the Jackson family. So I just want to give my condolences first of all to um, all the Jacksons. And then with a heavy heart, God, I have to also give my condolences to the uh, Chadwick Boseman family. Chapman Boseman died at the age of 43 after enduring a four-year battle with colon cancer. Oprah Winfrey took to Twitter shortly after the news broke to post a heartfelt tribute to the Black Panther star. What a gentle, gifted soul, showing us all that greatness in between surgeries and chemo. Wow. The courage, the strength, the power it takes to do that. This is what dignity looks like, wrote the 66-year-old media mogul. Meanwhile, Bob Iger, the executive chairman of the Walt Disney Company, which produces the Marvel films that made Bossman a superstar, said that he also paid tribute. He said, um, uh, um, he said he was one of the most extraordinarily talented and one of the most gentle and gifted souls and giving souls I've ever met. In his Twitter thread, he put that down there. And so Democratic Vice President nominee Kamala Harris was heartbroken over the actor's untimely passing, writing, heartbroken. My friend and fellow Bison Chadwick Boseman is brilliant, kind, learned, and humble. He left too early, but his life made a difference. I'm sending my sincere condolences to his family. 
tweeted the 55-year-old politician. Um, and uh, for all intents and purposes, it says that um, he suffered from colon cancer and he did it for the last four years. So while he was making these films, wow, he was doing it in between chemo and radiation? He passed away at, um, after a, four, a private four-year battle with colon cancer, and he was 43. The actor passed away at his home in Los Angeles with his wife and his family by his side. It is with unmeasurable grief that we do confirm the passing of Chaswick Boltzmann. Chaswick was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in December 6, um, in, in 2016 and battled with it the last four years as it progressed to stage four, the family said. The family revealed that many of Bozeman's films, including Marshall, The Five Bloods, and August Wilson's My Rainy Black Bottom, were filmed in during and in between countless of surgeries and chemotherapy. Wow. Bozeman, who usually flaunted a buff physique in superheroes, has sparked concerns over his um, a recent appearance Noticeably, he was looking frail in April and May. The actor had been known for playing real-life uh, figures, including professional baseball player Jackie Robinson, um, James Brown, and uh, his most memorable role was his 2018 performance as T'Challa whoa, in the African-American kingdom, Wakanda, and a crime fighter known as Black Panther. That was the first major studio superhero made in a predominantly African-American cast. Boseman is survived by his wife, Taylor, Simone, Ledward, um, and a parent, and had no children, a parent. The actor had kept his diagnosis and much of his private life under wraps. He had been reported to be dating Ledward after the pair were spotted together on the red carpet in 2019. But their marriage was not reported until his death. Mm, very interesting. Wow. So, again, with a heavy heart, I send my condolences to his family and all his loved ones, all his fans. Rest in power, brother. Rest in power. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share, 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 share the channel, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.